Welcome to the HubSpot integration guide for Wati. Uh, if you want to integrate your HubSpot account with Wati, you have to click on this, click on integrations, then click on HubSpot here. You will have an option of installing the HubSpot app. To do that, you click on this, click on install app. Now, when you do that, you'll have an op option of choosing a HubSpot account that you want to do the integration for. I'm just choosing this. When you do that, you have to approve the authentication. When you do that, this is how the integration works. And then you are ready to integrate it with your HubSpot workflows to start sending messages. Thank you. Hi. Uh, once you've connected your uh, HubSpot account to Wati, the next step is to uh, configure sending messages using HubSpot workflows. For that, you have to go to automation workflows. Once you do that, you land on this page. You can create, click on create new workflow. Choose a blank workflow here. Now, I'm just using this for HubSpot integration testing. So I'm just naming the workflow here. And then you can define the contact enrollment criteria. So, I mean, whatever it could be, I'm just saying, saying something like an email contains and then my name here you can define your own criteria once you're done with that you have an option of now sending a whatsapp message you'll find this option called send whatsapp message in this case you're seeing two but then in your case you'll see only one so you click on this over here you need to add the whatsapp phone number uh, make sure you add the phone number that has the whatsapp number that you want to send a message to over here you can choose the message that you want to send and just choosing i could actually choose any other messages but then uh, i'll choose this one right and then for that you can also go to the whaty account and then look for your template it says webinar happening now if you look at this template it has two parameters name and webinar topic now this is important when you're adding the parameters, you need to make sure you add the parameter in this format. This is one. Then you add a comma. Don't add any new line or anything like that. And the second parameter is webinar underscore topic. Make sure you use the same name. And uh, after that, you can add anything that has the webinar topic. It doesn't have anything, so I'll just add website URL name. Or I just add source and then save it. Once you're done with this, you're ready to trigger your workflow. So to test if your uh, workflow is working, find what you can do is you can either click on test here, then select the contact that you want to test for. You can add your own number here and then click on test. Once you do that, you'll be enrolled into this workflow based on the trigger condition. And then you should be getting a WhatsApp message. I've got a WhatsApp message already, so it's working fine. Uh, another feature within um, the HubSpot integration that Wati supports is you can create a HubSpot contact directly from the team inbox. The way to do that is you first select the HubSpot integration that you've done, and then you can click on create. Once you do that, you'll have an option of adding the name that you want to create the contact for. Right, and then any anything that you want to add here, just adding a dummy one, and then the phone number is added by default. Phone number, the this thing is added by default. You can add a contact owner that you can select from HubSpot, and then you can add the life cycle stage and then create it in HubSpot. Once you do that, it will be successfully created on HubSpot, and you can even search for that contact on HubSpot like this. There it is. So, this is how it looks like. Hope this is useful. Thank you.